This is the final video in the Fallout Corridor series. I started out inspired by the Fallout games, in particular Fallout 4, and then I had some influence from the Alien Isolation game and the Aliens movies, and so this is sort of a, a mashup of, of all of that stuff. Um, I've done six videos uh, in the series. This last one here, I didn't have it as part of the Fallout Corridor series exactly. It was just a sort of a separate tip on its own for how to create this sort of thermal wrapped pipe. I'll show you that in a, a larger picture soon. But I did a bunch of mo uh, videos of modeling and then I went on and, and did some some of the texturing, a lot of the texturing really uh, on my own, but I did do a couple of texturing sort of videos. So here we go. I'm going to show you the final renders and here they are. I hope they're not too dark on your screen. Um, these are rendered in Eevee and with some post-processing um, as well. All right. So once again, you can see those uh, pipes here and the pipes are in the sides as well. We'll probably have a closer look, but uh, We've got the computer zone, as I called it here, over here on the left. And we've got some of the other, uh, I don't know, technology here. And then the corridor leading down to the final um, exit door there. And really, there's not that much to show because it's all one big corridor scene. And so I just focus in on some of the things here and there on the sides where you can see the light that I've got there. The lights are, are show up in a number of different positions. And just another view of it. Uh, here and just focusing again on the stuff on the side. I really didn't do too much with this thing, which I initially really, really liked, and then it just got relegated to the to the side over there. But uh, there are a number of components in the corners, and there's a little light down there. One of these ones is tucked down in there in the corner. All right, just uh, trying to um, focus on the floor that I did the video on with the hazard strips and the and the texturing there, and I've also got a similar kind of texture at the top stair here. And looking down the corridor, we've got the uh, electrical uh, or sort of industrial style lights there. And I decided I'd put them on the ceiling as well. Focusing in now on the computer system here, we've got some emission on some of these buttons and some knobs. And of course, we've got one of the fallout symbols there. And we've got the, the cord here. Of course, this is texture. Um, yeah, so there's that. You can see now we, there's a little light down in the corner, one on the other side as well. And let's uh, pay a little bit of attention to this side as well. A little fuel button here and some stuff going on here and there and the various valves. We've done, you know, we've done uh, videos uh, of, uh, of creating that. Uh, so that's why I didn't show all of that. And again, let's have a look at the floor. And also let's focus on this device. It's got a little nice little pattern, uh, tactile feel type thing on these buttons as well. And now you can see those uh, pipes, the thermal wrap or corrugated kind of pipes uh, in the walls as well. Looking down at the end of the hallway near the exit door, we've got this emission up here and we've got one of the lights on both sides. And then of course you got that, that medical prop uh, here as well. And we see another view at the front. And I decided I'd put the medical prop up here as well because there's not that much in the scene, not that many other things. Could use, you know, could have used uh, med kits and, and other cylinders and, uh, you know, sci-fi crates and stuff like that. So that's it. That's what I've got. That's what I did for this series. It was uh, definitely a lot of fun to do. Uh, some challenges along the way, but I think we, we uh, solved most of those and uh you know got the, the best that we could out of the, the texturing and substance painter so thank you very much for following the series i hope you uh enjoyed the series and you like the longer series and i'm going to be starting now on the seasonal holidays blender challenge which will be another sort of little mini series and then we'll get back to doing some one-offs and then into another kind of sci-fi or apocalyptic scene i don't know what's coming next I appreciate you coming by. Please subscribe to the channel and like the videos. It helps me very much. And I uh, hope to see you again soon.